Yo, what's going on? It is Mike here from Venn Photography. Today, I would like to introduce you to a little series that I'm gonna start doing called Photo Stories. The idea behind this is for me to share one of my favorite things about photography, and that is storytelling. Now, sometimes an image tells its own story, and sometimes what makes a photo better is the context that surrounds the image. So with that in mind, I wanted to share with you today an image that I took in October of 2016, and this is the image that I'm gonna be talking about today. For most of 2016, I was touring around the United States and Canada performing puppet shows on behalf of the Mermaid Theatre of Nova Scotia. After each performance, I decided that I wanted to take a group portrait that sort of commemorated our time there and something that in the future I could look back on and sort of, oh, remember, oh, that was the venue where this happened, or that was the time that such and such happened. I'm not sure if you remember, but in the beginning of October in 2016, in Florida, this is what the news looked like. Here's my update for the Hurricane Matthew. Parts of Florida that are bracing for 100 mile an hour winds. This moves 20 miles to the west, and you and everyone you know are dead. All of you. And your kids die too. I had no idea what to believe. There was, you know, Shep Smith or whatever his name is on the news saying that everyone's gonna die. Then there was locals that were saying, don't worry about it, like. There's no record of a hurricane ever hitting Springfield. And then we had people calling from home saying, are you guys okay? You... So there was a lot of concern and a lot of, I don't know what that gesture was. This is the sort of energy that I was trying to capture in this photo. We decided to take this photo and get out of town. We headed down south uh, to Fort Lauderdale and we were absolutely fine in Fort Lauderdale. The day after the hurricane, we were at the beach. People have their own way of remembering traveling adventures and things like that. You know, some people keep a diary, some people save all their passport stamps or their plane tickets. I like to take photos, and a photo like this instantly transports me to that day, to the day that Hurricane Matthew came, and all of the excitement and the energy that surrounds that. So there you have it, that is my photo story. That is the time that I almost got trapped in Hurricane Matthew. I just wanna thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. And keep an eye out because I'm going to be making more of these photo story videos in the future. Until then, I'll see you on the internet. Peace. We'll be live all night long tonight. I won't be because I'm going to a family wedding. So if you're supposed to get out, go ahead and get out. Because if too many of you perish, they'll send me down there. And I need to go to this wedding. Okay?